Okay, so we're on a date. We have no kids with us. No Ethan, no Brady, no Lincoln. It's awesome. And we're at Melt in Avon. We've been here a couple times. We've been to a couple, couple different the Melt locations, even though we go to Cedar Point all the time, and we've never been to the one in Cedar Point. I was interested to hear this Cleveland Baseball Club, season 1920. This is on today. They just changed the name of the Indians to the Guardians. It's not fun. But we're going to eat. I got the Monte Cristo. And she got the cow bunga. We tried to get something we've never had before. We'll see. We're gonna see what happens. Then we're gonna have to show it off to the boys because they're gonna be envious. All right, here we go. This is the Monte Cristo. I've never had this yet. It's deep fried. Got a little bit of preserves. Oh, some fries. And then she got the cow bunga. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But she's got pepper. And she added the pepperoni because they don't come on it. It's got. It's got full. Um. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls on <laughs> the sandwich. And they have great ranch here. Mm -mm -mm. So we split them. That was what I ordered. That's what she ordered. They gave us this preserves to dip the uh, Monte Cristo in. And I think I'll just stick to ketchup. <laughs> it's okay. But I'll just have ketchup. Look at this beast. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, we got to wrap up our meal. We just ate at Melt here in Avon, Ohio, uh, just outside of Cleveland. How many times have you been there? Several. Third time at this establishment, though it's, it was before Covis uh, that we were there. Uh, we've been to the one in, I think there, was it Lakewood? <laughs> Lakewood is the original. And then there was another one we've been to. I don't remember that set up by uh, like Beachwood. Might be in Beachwood. We ha I had the Monte Cristo. She had the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Cowabunga, Cowabunga, which was like cheese. Well, you saw it. You saw the video. But we, we enjoyed it. Good service. Good foods. First time we've really ate out alone since before Covis hit. And, uh, and here's the other thing. We walked in and like the place was empty. It's like 2.30 on a Friday in the afternoon. And they said, hold on, we just gotta clean the table off. Though I could see like literally like 30 tables that were clean. It's just fine, they gotta put us in a spot where, you know, I understand them. And it was quick, boom, boom, boom. They had us there. Waitress was super nice. I, um, so she was very friendly, great, good service. Yep, and, but the funny thing is, is it literally was like us, like one guy sitting by himself, and then like another but two people, that was it, and some people outside. But when we left, there's literally like, a dozen people waiting like in the waiting area to get caught up for a table though there's like hundreds of tables or not hundreds but there's just like dozens of tables so i'm not sure what happened there i don't know if maybe they just don't have enough service our waitress was great yeah <laughs> she was uh, she was she just you know she wiped off the you know i don't think she and she was it wasn't busy that's the thing she was she was she wasn't busy i think we were the only customers except the 30 people waiting to come in which is crazy we loved it. We enjoyed it. And if you're going to, if you, hey, they have one at Cedar Point, but I don't recommend that one because I have an eight there and I figure it's ran by Cedar Point and their workers is probably not as good as this one or these others just because, you know, they don't know how to run melt. These people know, these <coughs> people know how to run it. And, um, and it's probably more expensive. So I don't recommend that one, uh, but uh, maybe I'll eat it one day and then I'll, I'll recommend it. We're going to go do some shopping. Um, and then we're just going to turn this off because we want to spend some time alone. So. Go to Mel. Okay.